My name's Alex Dobson, um, and this is basically a project I've come up with. Uh, it's fusing trials riding with music. And what it is, is these are my platforms in the background. So this is my set. What I'll do is I'll ride on these and trigger the music to create a composition with the bike. Now how that works is we've got the Xbox Connect here, which runs off obviously the infrared lasers, which is picking up uh, the 3D space. So we've got obviously left and right, up and down and back and forward. So that's doing the track in the whole space. And then what that's linked to is that's wired up to the computer, which is running uh, Max MSP software, which is basically making sense of all this data that's coming in from the Connect, um, reading it through the software, and then relaying that to the music software Ableton Live, which is uh, basically curating all the music. And from that, we've also got wirelessly linked up is the Wii Remote. Uh, the Wii Remote, I'm using the accelerometer in the Wii Remote to trigger the loops and samples uh, when I land, uh, and basically, as soon as I trigger the loop and sample, we have the connect that's tracking me around the room. That would do pan left and right, volume up and down, and various bits and bobs throughout the composition. Uh, we can disable and enable the accelerometer on the Wii remote with these buttons. So this one does enable and disable, so it allows me to trigger the loops when I want with that sharp down hit with the accelerometer. Um, and then that will then disable the Wii remote so I can mess around and play and not trigger anything else. And then when I want to trigger the next one, obviously enable it again. Second button is for the sound effects. So in the main parts of the composition, uh, I'll do sl slight little sound effects. And again, they'll be tracked by the Connect and the accelerometer on the Wii Remote, which does pitch, yaw, and roll. And with that as well, we have these LED lights that are underneath the stage. Uh, these LED lights are also running through the patch. And basically, when I trigger a sound, these lights come up as a big flash and then down again, which is all obviously interlinked. And then they happen at exactly the same time as when the bike triggers the sound. Uh, in the main parts of the composition, the lights are also reacting to the music, so they're going up and down with volume, and that is pretty much it. So this is Music in Motion, uh, making music with a trials bike.